Hi, this is Riddick, Big Daddy Bo, two-time former world heavyweight champion, and you're watching Cool True Sports. <laughs> True School Sports. True School Sports. There you go, champ. Thank you. Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, Robert Garcia, he was talking to that to, to uh, young billionaire boxing, got a new channel guy that's been doing some good content. So shout out to him. He got his stuff quoted in the boxing scene. Um, so that's why I'm reading the quotes. Uh, Robert Garcia was doing this interview and basically uh, he was asked about, you know, the potential of a Jerron Ennis versus Virgil Ortiz fight. Now, of course, Robert Garcia used to train um, Virgil Ortiz, so he's going to be a little biased towards him. But let's 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 read what he said and let's uh, dissect what he said. He said the following and I quote, right now, if you ask the boxing world, everybody's going to say Boots Ennis because of his skills and he's got power. He's shown that he's the real deal. Skill-wise, he boxes great. He punches very, very hard. So 90% are probably going to pick Boots Ennis. But Virgil has the, that power and that heart and that chin that you're going to have to kill him to beat him. Boots Ennis is going to have trouble with Virgil. Crawford, Spence, you name it. Any welterweight will have trouble with Virgil because of his style. End quote. And listen, um, personally, I think Boots, out of all the guys he named, I think out of Spence, Crawford, and, and um, it, Ennis, I truthfully believe that Ennis would probably uh, have the best chance of not just beating Virgil, but beating him in a decisive fashion. But I think I think what makes Virgil Ortiz a tough out for anybody in the welterweight division, whether it be Spence, Crawford, Ennis, whoever, is the fact that uh, it's that jab of his. People always talk about his power and the knockouts and, and these kind of things, but it's, the, it's that jab. His jab is world class. His jab... It's a volume jab, it's a power jab, it's educated jab, it's a jab that comes when his feet are set in a good position, um, fundamentally sound, you know, hand positioning is, is is on point. You know, Virgil Ortiz, he has that uh what I call the Texas style. Te and, and, and the Texas the Texas style of boxing is it's very no nonsense, it's very straightforward, it's very uh fundamentally sound, uh, compact, but it's all about getting in the mid-range. And, and fucking dudes up, you know. Look, think, think of Spence, think of Charlo, think of uh, Virgil Ortiz. These guys all have really good jabs. They're not like flashy. You don't really see a whole lot of looping punches or punches with, with you know, kind of like dexterity on them. No, uh, these guys are all fundamentally sound, and, and it's and it's a hallmark of of how they teach boxing in the state of Texas. Um, listen, we're heading into a. I, I think I think we're, we're we've been in a bit of a dark period in this wealth weight division. And we're heading into a bright period, I think, because I'm 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 choosing I'm choosing to be optimistic. Spence and Crawford will settle will settle their shit sooner or later, or they won't, and they'll move up, and that fight will just dis dissipate and dissolve, and we will move into the next era. And the the two flag bearers of that next era, as far as I'm concerned, are Jerron Ennis and Virgil Ortiz. And just so long as they're as good as we think they are, they're going to be on a collision course to meet each other. And I'm not so sure when that's going to be. I don't anticipate that that would be any time in 2023. Although, if God can grant me a wish as a boxing fan, if he can get me, if he can grant me just one wish, that's a fight I love to see because um, those guys are both bringing so much to the sport of boxing, so much to the ring. Um, Jerron Ennis with the with the switching and the and the and the, the piston like jab out of both stances, the uppercuts, the power, the athleticism, the confidence, the swag. I mean, he's the total package when it comes to being a fighter. And for Virgil Ortiz, that 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 piston like jab, the the devastating left hook, the the killer instinct that when you when you when he has someone hurt, he he folds you up and gets you out of there. It's a great fight. It's a fight that boxing fans I think need to get sooner rather than later. And um, it's getting to a point where we want to see Jerron Ennis. Like it, my thing with my thing with this fight and these two is this: if Ennis and Ortiz aren't going to fight each other anytime in twenty twenty three, then moving forward. It needs to get to a point where we see Virgil Ortiz three times, three or four times a year, and we see Ennis three or four times a year, so that these guys can build up momentum, so that when they do fight, it's the biggest fight possible. You know, so that's that's my that's my thing. If we're not gonna get Ennis and and, and or in Boots in 2023 or 2024, then in both of those years, I want to see them both at, at a minimum of three times, three times, because these guys have the talent, the skills 
to really captivate the imagination of many people out there. But the problem is it's hard for these guys to build momentum because, first of all, neither one of these guys do a whole lot of talking. They do the talking in the ring, and they do it quite, quite greatly and at a high, and at a high level. So the only way to drum up interest for these guys is you got to do what they, what God created them to do, which is fight. You know, uh, uh, a dog barks, a cat meows. You know, Steph Curry shoots a basketball, fighters fight. So three to four times a year, build up that hype, build up that buzz. And like, I'm thinking like, what, 2025, early, I'm talking like summer 2025, them two should fight. You know, if we're not going to get it anytime soon, three, I want them to both get six fights over the next two years. Hopefully they come through all six of them fights and summer 2025 will be a great time uh, looking at making, making those guys fight. Uh, if you want to be realistic and not be, you know, I guess, uh, want to rush into things. But for me personally, I, I want to see this shit now. Let's just get to it. Let's, let's find out who's who right now. That's what I'm about. I'm about seeing the best fight the best. But uh, yeah, Robert Garcia. He thinks that Virgil Ortiz has a chance to uh, really make some waves and beat up on uh, Jerron Ennis. So make it that what you will. I'm just I'm, I'm just a messenger. I'm just here talking boxing. But uh, leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here. Boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.